All right, it's BFG's NVIDIA GeForce 9600 GT. This is the OC2, meaning it's been overclocked not once, but twice. How do they do that? It's like double deep fried. Kind of looks like uh, Metallica's Black Album, doesn't it? What do you think? Except it ain't snakes, it's flames. Flames are more dangerous and faster than snakes. They've recorded the speed of flames to be, oh, much higher than that of a common snake. Even a rocket-powered snake is probably not as fast as these flames. Or as dangerous as these flames. And that's how dangerous this card is. So, children, don't take this out and play with it. Put it in your computer and play with it. All right, let's talk about the specs on the OC2. Now, I said it was overclocked twice. That might not be really the, the, a true statement. Some things might have been inaccurate in that statement. Well, it's been overclocked, and it's more overclocked than their OC version. It's the OC2, of course. Of course. This thing has 64 stream processors. It's a 256-bit card. It's got some things on it. It's got this sweet fan that has flames on it. It looks awesome. Uh, also, it's got 512 megabytes of memory, and it runs at 1880, so that's a good overclock. Uh, the shader clock is at 1750. That's a good overclock. And the core clock is all the way up at 690. So it's well overclocked all the way around, and this thing is faster than the stock clock to 8800 GT in just about every game. So that's, that's what's cool, because the 8800 GT usually besters this card with the uh, staff of bestering. Hits it in the head with it. But this one actually does a very good job. Let's talk about the benchmarks. All right, going right in with Call of Duty 4 at 1920 by 1200, running with everything maxed out until it's ready to explode. All right, the OC2, the one I'm holding in my hand, the 9600 GT OC2, got 52 frames a second. 8800 GT, 44.3, and the uh, Radeon 37, or 3870 was at 44.2. Wanted to compare those all because they're all kind of in the same category. 8800 GT and the 3870 are a little more expensive. All right, um, Crisis, 1200, or 1280 by 1024 and running on medium settings. Asked to not make things melt. Uh, 9600 GT OC, 2, 30 frames a second. 8800 GT, 33 frames a second. And the 3870 was at 29 frames a second. So that's a pretty, co pretty close race right there. All right, Unreal Tournament 3, uh, 1920 by 1200. Uh, the 9600 OC2 that I've got in my hands, uh, that's at 47 frames a second. 8800 uh, is at 57 frames per second. And the uh, 3870 30, uh, is at 40 frames a second. So getting really close there. As you can see, this thing does beat the 8800 GT, like I said, in some games. It can be faster than the 8800 GT. Not in all the games. As you can see there from the benchmarks, it's, it's like a battle back and forth. So, you know, who knows? I mean, typically the 8800 GTs should be faster because it does have more stream processors, but this one's a lot less money. And um, looks like Metallica's Black Album with flames, not snakes. That's awesome. Let's talk about how hot the card runs. That's important to some people because they want to be able to overclock it even more. Now, it does run cooler than the 8800 GT, which is a plus. It's also a single slot card, which is also a plus because it doesn't take up any more room than one slot in your system. You can put all kinds of extra stuff in your system with this thing in there. Well, this thing uh, does generate heat, but not as much as the 8800 GT. For instance, 8800 GT, when it's idling, is at 58 degrees Celsius, and when it's on full load, it's around 90 degrees Celsius. Uh, the same for this one. When this one's idling, it's at 51 degrees, and on full load, it's only at 83 degrees. So you're saving seven degrees at Celsius, too. So that's not bad. All right, let's look at the front here. All right, we have two DVI ports right here. Each will deliver 2560 by 1600. We also have a breakaway cable right there. You can use for S-Video, or uh, you can use it even for a uh, component as well with an optional adapter cable you can pick up. And then on the back, uh, we do need, it's really hard to see right there. Can you guys see that? Right there. You do need uh, one six pin PCI Express connector, or you could just use this. Two Molex, two one six pin PCI Express connector. So even if your power supply does not have the PCI Express connector, they've included that. So thanks, BFG. You guys have got the gamers in mind. BFG always has the gamers in mind, and, and I want to mention something. They have uh, one of the best warranties out there on the market. So I encourage you to go over to their website and check out the details of their uh, of their extended warranties or their standard warranties out of the box. They're good. One more thing to mention, then we're going to be out of here. Uh, it is SLI. Uh, ready? So you can put two of these in your system. There's the SLI bridge. Now, it is not going to work with Tri-SLI, just two cards. You can only use two of these cards together. So if you're thinking about Tri-SLI, you got to use the 8800 GTX or the 8800 Ultra right now. But those are extremely expensive cards. A lot of you guys who are interested in uh, saving some money are going to go for this. Or maybe even two of these. Two of these is going to run just about as fast as any single card I can think of. So that's, that's awesome. 
If you guys have got any questions, click on Q&A at the top of the page. I'll see you next time. For more information on the BFG GeForce 9600 GTOC2, go to CompUSA and type B52-9604 into the search box. Or call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. 1-800-COMP-USA.